one for you. This connects you two together. What did you need to do in the building here? Yeah. Okay. Howdy, is this Haley? Yes, sir. Back to Anesthesia, I understand you're losing your tonsils and adenoids today, is that correct? Yep. Do you smoke? Nope. Do you uh, vape? Nope. Right answers. Able to walk up two flights of stairs without being too short of breath? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Plan on having you all the way off to sleep. What we'll do, we'll get an IV started. Once the IV is started, you're, you're, you're home free. Yeah. You can do it. It's like I told my daughter, you can get a tattoo, you can get an IV. All right. Yep. <laughs> cool. I hate it. Okay. All right. We're doing it. Okay. It's happening. It's too late now. Well, it's too late now. Well, I'm gonna take care. Oh, it sucks. You get to take them home. I'm so excited. Here, sweetie, you wanna? Now, if you do want somebody to hold your hand, they can. They can just stand over there. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> We'll bring her out here, give her some home instructions, get you something daily to eat and drink, medicate you for pain, and send you home. Sound good? Yep. So I want you just to tuck your fingers on you really light. And then just keep your fingers tucked just like that. Perfect. Now I want you to keep your fingers tucked. Keep those fingers tucked. Are they tucked? Yep. 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 Okay. Good job. I didn't know if they were tucked. Yep. Nope. No, you're doing good. Yeah, and don't look over here if you're super nervous. All right, sweetheart, you're going to feel a little stinging and a little burn. I'm just going to numbness it up a little bit. Right down, one, two, three. Shut up. And that should be the worst you feel. Oh, is it? Is it? It's not done. It's not done? But I just moved up to wrap it, so I look here now. How do you like it, Miranda? Yeah, that's fun. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> You're doing good. You need to stop. <laughs> Why is that even warm? <laughs> Why is it what? <laughs> is it dripping? No. Are you kidding me? No, you're lying. You're good. Don't look, don't look over here. <laughs> Go deep for us, girl. You're gonna hyperventilate. I wanna look. I need to know. Yeah. <laughs> Is you it better? Look. Yeah, you're done. You do great. They cut your arm off. Yeah. <laughs> Are you my doctor? I am your doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Are you my patient? Okay, we're in the right place. <laughs> No, you can't keep the roof. It's hospital property. I only have one, two other ropes. Yes. Yep. You can go back. I'm just doing some. Is it time? Last minute chair. Dun dun dun. Is that Haley? Haley. Okay. I'm gonna set your chair up here. We're gonna walk back to the operating room. There we go. The two of you can have a seat back out front in that main room where you check through, and I'll call out there when we're all done. Just fine. Really? Huge, huge tonsils. Seriously? Yes, very, very large. <laughs> and filled with tonsil stones. You know, you go to grab the tonsils so you can manipulate it and right. pull it out. And just kind of like do, uh, squeezing a dirty sponge, the stones just kind of float out of there. So, either way, very good decision to get those things out of there today. Is the recovery is probably one of the worst in surgery. Okay. Thanks, Doc. All right, you it. bet. You bet. Have She's a one. nice girl to take care of. I, thank you. I enjoy her very yeah. much. She's got a great personality. Sorry, thank you. <laughs> Come on, man. Get ready for pictures. <laughs> man, I think I would be napping too. I'd be getting her out of the bed and say, hey, here's a recliner. I'm taking over on the bed. Right. How you doing? Don't talk. 
Wasn't that a great sleep? I think she's still sleeping. It's over here. <laughs> what? Oh, don't say anything. say something powerful. Here you go, Katie. Oh my God, you're gonna have to up. scoot up a little more. You gotta scoot up on the bed again. Ooh, you got the shakes, huh? Mm -hmm. Let me get a warm blanket for you. Okay. <laughs> Poor kid. Defeat you or Eric defeat you? Eric. <laughs> Pretty good. Is it possible? I defend my ice cubes, I didn't get the Right? No more. So how was that? Not good. I'll answer the question for you. That was probably the worst experience of my life. Um, hated every second of it. But that was not the end of it. <laughs> I had two more weeks. I'm actually in the middle of my second week um, of recovery. I thought that the recovery was important enough to make a whole separate clip about and put it at the end of this video. It will be short and sweet. But just so you can get an idea, if you're about to get your tonsils out and you're watching this video being like, what do I have to expect? Let me tell ya. So, first day, whenever I got home from the hospital, same day, um, I slept pretty much all day. Everyone was telling me over and over and over, keep hydrated, like, it'll hurt so bad to swallow, but just keep drinking water. It is so important to just constantly be drinking water all the time, like, keep exercising those muscles in your throat, and definitely to be keeping your throat moisturized to keep that scarring lubricated, so to say. Second day, was in so much pain. Um, swallowing is probably like the worst pain ever. I've never felt something more painful in my life. Sorry. I dreaded swallowing <laughs> all the time and I was taking codeine I think. It's like a liquid pain medication and I was taking that every four hours and it did help but taking it would make me actually choke to the point where I couldn't breathe and I was gasping for air which hurt even more just Whenever you get your tonsils out, you don't realize how much you actually use your throat until you have to use your throat all the time and it's extremely painful. I'm actually still pretty nasally, as you can hear. Um, I sound kind of different, at least I think I do, and my voice is super annoying. I hope that that clears up. My uvula is still super, super swollen. I really want to put a disclaimer out there that the recovery is extremely painful and you have to take it easy. Like. I slept for, I don't even know how many hours a day, I was probably only up for like four hours every day. I slept all day. 
I woke up every four hours to take my meds and a little tip if you do get the liquid codeine medication drink half of it and then mix it with water and drink it and then drink the other half mix that with water too like dilute it because it hurts so bad to just swallow raw and it's such like a thick liquid that it gets stuck in your throat and it really sucks whenever you can't breathe and you have to keep swallowing to get it down it's just way more painful than to just swallow it twice with water um tip number two don't brush your teeth it's not worth it like that's disgusting but like there was nothing i wanted to do more than brush my teeth but i couldn't like it was just way too painful so set that aside for day four or five when the pain actually starts to go down it definitely got a lot better after day five but I still wake up super sore. Uh, the pain, just kind of like as a reference, the pain feels like whenever you're about to cry and your throat's like clenching, except like times 10 and all the time. So that's, that's what getting your tonsils out feels like, or at least the recovery of it. It was really, really hard to swallow. Like I would have to sit up and prepare myself to swallow every time I had to swallow my spit or swallow water or whatever. There was no eating anything remotely solid for about four days and then I caved in and I went and got pizza. I don't even think I ate for like three days. So I was just living off pain meds and water. I just, I needed to put this part in here because the recovery is a really, really important part of the surgery. You have to take it easy or else you'll spit up blood or whatever. you ruin the recovery. So it'll be 10 times worse if you don't just drink water and it sucks. <laughs> Won't lie to ya. Sucks really bad. I would never, ever, ever do it again. Well, I can't do it again. But I would never, ever, ever put anyone through that, not even my worst enemy. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my vlog channel. We are trying to get to a thousand subscribers. If you have any comments, just leave them down below. Thanks for watching. <laughs>